and it showed me that we are in Berlin, Germany. So I figured I, I will talk about German language. <laughs> or how we call it in Russia, language. So actually, I started learning uh, German in school, so when I was like a kid. Uh, it was like 90s, I think. Uh, and that, like, we didn't have internet, right, back then, and <laughs> nobody knew, actually, like, would English be a good language, like, international language, or German, or French, or sp sp Spanish, or whatever. Nobody knew, so, like, it was safe bet. And our school had, like, only two options, actually, English or German. So my parents, like, yeah, uh, you can either go to English, and then, like, later in your life, have, like, a great career, uh, watch any movie you want and like like move to other countries or you can go to Germany. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Germany, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and it's, it's actually very interesting because I, uh, I, I studied it for about, I think, I'm trying to remember, it was about five or six years. So up until 10th grade. I was learning exclusively German, like, uh, and then I like to switch schools. They didn't have German. I had to switch to English, and I completely forgot everything. Like everything, not a single thing stuck. Like I didn't know that is possible, but it is apparently. Uh, just... Same with us with the Russian language. But you remember the phrase "to be Schweiner." To be Schweiner. To be Schweiner. Okay. Uh, Very sour. Yeah. I remember three things specifically from, I, I don't know why, like why my brain works like that. Uh, and I'm trying to find explanation and I, I can't find one. Uh, so the first is the word Hase, which is rabbit. Uh, for, I don't know why. <laughs> I guess kids like rabbits or maybe like I have this hypothesis. Uh, the second one is Schlange, which is <laughs> snake. Yes, and it, it sounds funny in, uh, in Russian, yes. but like I... I, I want to think that I remember it for its practicality uh, because, like, if, <laughs> because if you get bitten uh, in German city by a snake like, and you have to call uh, one or two like emergency right and what do you say like I was bitten by a long credit or like what <laughs> yeah, you, need, you need to know the word right? uh, and, and the third thing I remember is actually a phrase that we made up it's like the, the, Entirely in German, it's like partially in German. Uh, it's, uh, it sounds like this uh, In der Straße ist Jibun. <laughs> and Jibun in Russian it means uh, very cold. Uh, <laughs> that's like a fancy version, but the kids not supposed to say. It, uh, but yeah, yeah, and uh, obviously. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we were in Siberia after all, so yeah, it made sense that we, we, we came up with this phrase. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have likes it a lot! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be When we came in Germany, actually, I, I, I remember this phrase, uh, but because we had to study German again, and I remember what I remember, could remember, right, and this phrase came up, but it doesn't really make sense, because it's not that cold in Germany, like, it's like a pretty nice, like, it's 10 degrees outside, <laughs> like, you can, you can... guy from Siberia. Yeah, 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 it's fine, I mean, it's fine. Uh, 
Uh, so we have to change this phrase, and we change it so we can actually use it like in our new context, in the, our new life, right? We change it in the warning with you, Bonnie. <laughs> and it, uh, yeah, we use it many times since because like it's really cold in German apartments. Um, Unless you're there, which... Unless what? Unless yeah, but uh, actually yeah. learning German yeah. is... No. Uh, it's really hard really? if you if you, like, if you if you like stupid jokes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I <don't> know. <laughs> uh, just like, we couldn't, we couldn't stop doing them. And yeah, so the thing I'm going to tell you is about... Uh, so there's a word... Yeah, right? <laughs> Which means like uh, Mr. or whatever. But in Russian, Russian it actually uh, means a dick. Right? Yeah. It's literally yeah. a dick. Like, yeah. uh, it sounds exactly like that. Uh, so whenever I hear her something, I will like dick something. And, like, uh, uh, sometimes yeah, I have to contain it. But, uh, so, and you know, it's, it, the Germans they don't make it easy uh, actually. Like Herr Stolz, for example, like proud dick. <laughs> <laughs> or Herr Klein. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they don't really make it easy. Um, uh, okay. Um, so uh, another thing that uh, also like came to Germany with me from my uh, previous life is uh, uh, I, I, I was uh, like some words you learn like but basically we import some words like or like borrow some words from German in Russian right so you kind of learn them because you use them all the time one of them is Russian word for sandwich which is butter broth which is, sounds like exactly like Russian sandwich. You just take a piece of bread and put broth, and that's your, that's your dinner, son. So, yeah. Uh, we didn't have much to put on top. Uh, but then I learned, like, yeah, in Germany, it is actually is uh, your breakfast. Like, you, you, you do that, and that's your breakfast. You have beer, and it's just like it's German, proper German breakfast. Uh, the other thing is, like, it's, it's, a, it's a generally very, like, um, I would like to li really know what the re <laughs> what the re real story is behind it, but um, yeah, but so the fact is, so we use the word Stangenzirka, which is obviously a German word. Like I, I like it's like Stang is a beam, circle is a circle, right? So it's like it's like two German roots, and like. And we use it uh, in Russia to mean, so in English it means calipers, a capital, but like it's a device, like a ruler with, for very precise measurements. <laughs> then you came to Germany and they don't use it, they call it, uh, uh, they call it mass sugar. Yeah. And like, like, the fact, like, why did you import German word but you picked the wrong one? Like, why? <laughs> like, it's like, and and if, you, if you are going to import the German word, like, why not, like, the, if you're going to import the wrong word, why don't you choose like simple one, like small one? Like, <laughs> maybe, why go all the lengths? Like I don't know. Exactly. Really I miss schlagbaums in my life in Germany. It's like, where are all the schlagbaums <laughs> in, in yeah. Berlin? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's all the same. Yeah. Okay. Um. Ker Prokopov. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so when we moved to Germany, uh, we went to language school, right? So we moved to Munich, actually, before Berlin. We went to language school there because we wanted to understand what is it, the language is about. We want to speak to everybody. And Munich is harder without German. So, yeah, and it is... Uh, so we, I'm not sure if the word exists in English. So it's called, in Russian, it's called emotional swings. When you like, uh, you have like high emotions and low emotions, and high again, and low again, like like swings, right? Uh, and this is exactly what you feel about like German, when learning German language. So uh, <laughs> uh, you go to the first, very first lesson. You come to language school, very first lesson, and the teacher is like, uh, uh, they try to speak in German, but you don't know anything, right? So how do you start? They just point at things. So she's like, hello, and you're like, ah, hello, hello, <laughs> like, yeah, I can figure it out. And huh, I can already do some German, oh, nice. And she like picks up the pen, and it's like, Google Schreiber. And then like, uh, you yeah, like, yeah, all hope is lost. Yeah, I will never learn this language. She's like, oh, this is a stool, like, and yeah, like a stool in Russian, it's stool, like, yeah, I, I can. 
I can like I can get with this. And you're like, I'm sorry, how do you spell it? And she said, no, no, we don't spell, uh, we don't say spell, we say buchstabieren <laughs> it. If you just if you don't understand something, it's easy. Just ask buchstabieren uh, it. And the, and the word for uh, I'm sorry also like uh, and you're like I, I'm sorry I will I will ask and you no we don't say sorry uh, then we say entschuldigung right which also like very very long like twenty letters and like why why it's like that like don't you people uh, ask for sorry like don't you say sorry and no no we are German we don't we just stare at each other until one, <laughs> one of you faints or something or run away. <laughs> Like, we don't have to optimize that part of our language. Uh, and, uh, but actually, like, and again, again, this was like the lower motion, and then you ask, like, what's the word for mobile phone? And you expect something like mobile, telephone, <laughs> and you say, no, it's handy. And you say, no, it's handy. Handy is nice, handy is nice. <laughs> When when I learned when I first learned about Entschuldigung, I couldn't believe that people actually <laughs> say like, how much time do you need like, to just say like you you to step on somebody's foot and then like like he's like okay uh, start saying uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so I have uh, like a couple of questions about German language or like optimizations or whatever. Uh, the first one is about irregular verbs. Uh, when you start learning German, they give you a list like, and it has 300 verbs, and they're all irregular. So like, you're <laughs> supposed to learn one of them, and you like, I, I, I like, I still think that list like is enough. Like, I don't think you need more more verbs. Like, it's like let's have this 300 and like not not nothing else. I mean, I can learn that, but uh, like expect there is more. I don't want. So I, my proposal is that we rename them to regular verbs, actually, because like most of them are like irregular. <laughs> uh, yeah. The second thing is actually not uh, not even a complaint. It's more like a horror story. <laughs> so I've been learning language uh, German for like a year and a half, I guess, so far. I'm uh, like the one ish. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so uh, you, you you learn about these forms of verbs which uh, like preteritum and participzwei, right? And you like to learn about it, and you do it all the time, and you do it, and you, you make mistakes. It, it's all fine. Mm -hmm. And then, like like a year in, you're like, wait a minute. They have participle why, but where is participle wines? Like, <laughs> why does it teach about that? And I am still like super terrified about it. Like when, at some point, like <laughs> you probably know what it is. I don't like this because it's very scary for me. Uh, and they probably like because they postpone it so much. Like I, I, I like I have very scary expectations about it. Uh, and I actually like the one thing that I uh, that I. I'm afraid more than participle wines is that they came up with participle dry. So that would be very terrible. Um, <laughs>